Meanwhile, some bishops also congratulated the primate for his doggedness in making sure that the church is marching on. According to them, this past one year has been a year of repositioning the Anglican Church in the area of missions and spirituality. They pray that God will give him and his wife sound health to continue in their passion for missions and soul winning. Without being a press singer, it has been one year of impactful and purposeful leadership. You know, when you see a man with a vision who has also prepared a mission to carry that vision, you will know. So this one year, even though short, but I can say with all certainty and humility, it has been a year of moving the church in a direction that God wants this church to be. Repositioning Anglican Church in the area of mission, in the area of spirituality, in the area of balanced uh, liturgy, in the area of welfare, both of the laity and the clergy. And it's a holistic approach to leadership. And I tell you, it's awesome, it's wonderful. I want to congratulate the primate of our church, Papa Henry, as he's been commonly called, uh, for the wonderful work the Lord has done through him this past 365 days, plus or minus. It has been uh, an exciting uh, tenor since he resumed office. We've seen uh, the, 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 the vibrancy, the agility, and uh, the capacity to ensure that uh, the reign of Christ is, uh, is evident not only in Abuja, but in all diocese of Nigeria. May God give him strength, sound health, uh, robust health, and uh, may we all who are followers, who are his lieutenants, be able to support him uh, in all areas. But on a very serious note, we congratulate our leader, uh, our primate, and the Metropolitan Archbishop of the Church of Nigeria for this wonderful job, fantastic job that he has been able to do this past one year. One of the most important thing I love about him is his passion for mission, passion for salvation of souls, and he's driving it like never before. He's driving it as if that is the whole essence of life. And I believe that is what God has called us into. So we give God all the glory for the revival we are experiencing in our church. We give God all the glory for mission-minded people that are being raised in our church since he came. And we give God all the glory for the spirituality that is coming into the church. It is our prayer that God will continue to engrace him.